be showing you the best jump shots for all builds on ME 2K25. Yes, you guys heard me correctly. Today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you every good jump shot for every single height slash build. I'm talking about 5'11 to 6'3, 6'6 to like 6'9, 6'9 to 7 foot, 7 foot to 7 over. I got you with every best jump shot in today's video. By the way, guys, keep in mind, my voice is still kind of iffy. If you guys don't know from last video, I lost my voice and it's still kind of bad. So if you hear some voice cracks, do not make fun of me, bruh. But anyways, guys, these jump shots are really good. Now, I play on a 6'3 guard and the jump shot I use for this build is just the best thing I've ever discovered. I literally went on a 26 game streak with this jump shot. The stream is still up and you can see that I wasn't even missing. Y'all can literally check out the stream for yourselves. Actually, I'm gonna show some clips right now. As y'all can see, I'm literally not missing. I'm always shooting above people, shooting above people's heads. Like, I'm literally like this jump shot, bro. I don't know what's up with it. It's super good. And it's not only this jump shot. The other jump shots I'm gonna show y'all are really good too. And I'm talking about the big man jump shots, the 6'6 six, six jump shots, the 7 foot jump shots, but I got y'all. Also, make sure you guys stick through till the end of the video because I will be giving you guys some shooting tips. Also, the best settings for shooting. Because if y'all do not know, you guys need the right settings on this 2K to shoot good. It's literally a fact. So, guys, that'll be enough talking for now. But right now, we're going to get into the jump shots, starting with the 6-3. By the way, yes, I did say 6-3. I don't know what the range is for this jump shot. I don't know if it's through 5-11 through 6-3 or 6-3 to 6-6. So, if you're a 6-3 or shorter or a little bit taller than 6-3, just stick around so you can see if you can use this jump shot. All right, guys, so I just found out you have to be 6 foot 5 or under to use this jump shot. So, if you're 6 foot 5 or under, you'll be able to use this jump shot. If y'all are 6-6 six, six and over, don't worry, the next jump shot will be for y'all. Now, starting with the lower slash base, you guys want to go with Kyrie Irving. When I tell you this is the best base I think I've ever used in any 2K, okay, I don't know about that. Jump shot 98 in 2K20 was crazy. But this base right here is so smooth. I'm telling you, this is probably the smoothest base I've ever used. And I mean, look at the jump shot grade. You get an A, A plus, A minus, and an A. What the hell? So yes, guys, you want to go with Kyrie Irving as the lower slash base. Really good. Oh, I should have mentioned this before too. Do you know how I said you have to be 6'4", 5 or under? Also, you need an 82 plus mid range or an 82 plus three pointer. But knowing if you're 6'5 or under, you should most likely or like probably have one of those. So you guys should be good. All right, but now on to the upper release one. And this one, you guys probably already know. You guys want to go with no other than Oscar Robertson. Bro, I swear Oscar Robertson is on like a generational run with these jump shots. This guy's always in the upper release. But yes, guys, do I even need to explain? Oscar Robertson has upper release one. Looks amazing. Is amazing. And you can never go wrong with Oscar Robertson being in your jump shot. Now for upper release two, you guys want to go with Enferni Simmons. So again, another good upper release. I can't really talk too much about the releases. This is just one of the best jump shots I've ever used. Now on to blending and release speed. So for visual Q, it's low-key kind of a preference. But what I do is I put it right here. So basically push. Now listen, guys. I'm going to tell you guys right now. I've been using set point all of 2K24. And I would hate push. Push was like the worst thing. But I'm not going to lie. In this 2K, set point is low-key not even that good. I changed it to push. And I've been greening like crazy. So if you guys are struggling with set point, I don't know if they changed something with it. But trust me, give push a chance. Push is really, really good. Remember, I hated push. I was using set point all of 24. But now nah, I changed it to push now. It's so much better for me. But, it's low -key kind of, but this is low-key kind of a preference. So just go with what you like. But if set point is not working out for y'all, try going with push. But yeah. And for release speed, you guys want to max out the release speed. With whatever jump shot you guys are going with, I don't care what jump shot you're going with. Make sure you guys have a max release speed on it. And I'll tell you why. Max release speed means you let go of the ball quicker. Which means the guy that is guarding you has a less chance of even contesting you. But you're probably saying, oh, Zeptile, release speed on max is too fast for me. I can't control it that fast. That's where visual Q comes into play. Literally, when you go from jump to release, jump being the quickest and release being the slowest, you can literally control how fast you want your jump shot to be. While with release speed still being at full, meaning that you're still going to release the ball as fast as possible, but visual Q changes the speed on when you release it. If that makes sense. What I'm trying to say is do not look at release speed as like the speed. Always put release speed at the max. Look at visual Q as the speed. And now we are on to animation blending. Go 80, 20 Oscar Robertson. And this is your final jump shot right here. Look at the final grades in the bottom right. A, A plus, A minus, and B plus. Hey, this is a really good jump shot. If you guys are struggling with the jump shot and you're six foot five or under, use this jump shot. I'm telling you. But that'll be it for this jump shot. The next jump shot is gonna be six foot five through six foot nine. So if you're in between those ranges, I got you with the jump shot. Six foot five to six foot nine. For the lower slash base, you guys are gonna be going with Jared Culver. Right here, Jared Culver. Now listen, guys, I know it is locked for me. It's because this build and the next build I'm gonna show are 60 overalls. They're new builds. And that is because I haven't used these jump shots yet. But people I know do use these jump shots, and they're saying it's the best timing for these heights. And I do trust them, of course, because they hooked me up with many different jump shots in the past. And don't get me wrong, I do be playing with them, and I do see them greening hella with these jump 
jump shots. Because obviously, I don't have three builds right now. I just have my 6 3. I see them greening hella with these jump shots, and they also have a high three point percentage. And by the way, let's come back to this lower slash base. You guys want to go with Jerry Culver. Now, obviously, I can't talk about this base since I don't even use the jump shot, but I'm gonna explain it how my friends would explain it really smooth and really easy to time. So, I guess that's true. Jerry Culver for the base. His jump shot grades are looking good too, and that'll be the lower slash base. Now, for upper release one, you guys want to go with no other than Oscar Robinson. Literally, again, again, no need to explain. Oscar Robertson is one of, if not the best upper release. Again, really good jump shot grades, and that'll be it for that. Now, for upper release two, you guys want to go with Charles Bassi Basie. I do not know. But again, that is upper release two. As you all can see in the jump shot on the right, that jump shot does not look half bad. It looks like a pretty good jump shot. If y'all are wondering what your mid range has to be in your three point, you need at least a 73 plus mid range or a 73 plus three point, which y'all should have. And now to the blending and release speed. So, my friends as well put this jump shot on push. They use push too. For release speed, obviously max it out. And for animation blending, you guys want to go 57% Oscar Robertson. And that is the final jump shot right there. Obviously, in the top left, it's not default swing. I just couldn't equip the base because it was locked because I don't have this player upgraded. But if you guys were actually watching this video and not skipping to the end, you guys would know what base that is. Now, for the final jump shot, it is for my 6'10 and higher people. Literally, if you're 6'10 or higher till the max, you can use this jump shot by the show, y'all. So let's get to it. All right, so I'm on a 7 foot. Again, these are my friend's jump shots. This one's not mine. I don't have a seven foot build, but for the lower slash base, you guys want to go with Dwayne Deadman. I do not know, I'm so bad at pronouncing names, but you guys want to go with Dwayne. So, again, my friends described this jump shot as easy to time, and you could not really like miss with this jump shot. I mean, looking at my player to shoot the ball right now, the base does not even look bad. So, you guys want to go with that now for upper release one, you guys want to go with Charles Bassi again. It looks like Charles Bassi Basse is like a good upper release for like taller builds, but yeah, you guys want to go with that for upper release one. Now, on to upper release two, you guys want to go with. Chris Bosch. And I'm not gonna lie, his jump shot grades are really good. A, A, B minus, and B plus. Now for mid range in three point, one of them has to be a 64 or over, just so you guys know. And now to the blending and release speed. So my friends, again, go with push for this one. Release speed, obviously max it out. Always max out your release speed, please. Just always do it. And for animation blending, you guys wanna go 65 Charles. And that is the final jump shot for the final build. Comment down below if you guys tried one of these jump shots and if you like them. But guys, the video is not over yet. You guys need to stay to know how to shoot better because i'm gonna be telling you guys the best shooting tips with the best settings so i'm gonna hop back on my 6-3 and show y'all right now all right guys so we're in the city right now if you guys go to options and go to controller settings there's a lot of things we need to talk about first of all shot timing profile as y'all can see you can see difficulty based real player percentage low risk reward normal risk reward and high risk reward this is what it means for example high risk reward you will not be able to make whites but the good thing about it is that your green window will be bigger so let me just put it in simple in terms high risk reward more chance of greening no chance of making white that's literally what it is and then you can guess what low risk reward is low risk reward means lower chance of greening higher chance of making a white and normal risk reward is in the middle now listen i know you guys want to go with low risk reward or normal risk reward just to make those whites but i'm telling you it's not worth it just go with high risk reward go big or go home high risk reward is so much better you have a way bigger chance of making a green with high risk reward so just pick high risk reward now on to layup timing profile same thing goes with layup timing profile but as y'all can see i have a low risk reward but i'm gonna change it right now to normal risk reward now the reason why i don't have a high risk reward is because you guys can miss open layups this year i'm talking about full-on open i'm talking about you're all the way here everyone else is here the basket's right here you go to take a layup and you can miss that so that's why i do not have high risk reward on because you can literally not make whites with high risk reward if you have high risk reward on you have to time your layups but y'all can see i don't have low risk reward on and that is because i do want to green some layups because what if there's someone in the paint and like obviously you have to time it a little bit to make it over them so that's why i met in the middle going with normal risk reward honestly this is a preference for this one if y'all want to time every layup you take i'm talking about every layup you take go with high risk reward if y'all want to make every layup except you probably won't make it above someone i'm talking about if someone's in the paint go with low risk reward but if you want to be like me where you have to kind of time it but also you will be able to like make over people because you time it right go with normal risk reward now for shot timing visual cue listen i have it on push but I just figured out this doesn't mean in the city whatever you set this on will work in my career i'm talking about those my career games it won't work in the city for it to work in the city you have to put it on your jump shot which i already showed you so this does not really matter i mean it kind of does put on what your jump shot is and you should be straight for pro stick orientation
function, go with absolute. For off ball, offensive ball, go with absolute. For pro stick function, go with default. And that will be it for the settings. But wait, we are not done. If y'all go to animations, go to customize HUD, and go to shot meter shots. Visibility for shots, please turn it off. Use no meter this year. If you haven't been using meter, start this 2K, stop using meter. The reason is, is because you will green way more because eventually it'll be all muscle memory. And second of all, you do get a green window boost if you turn off meter. I think it's a 25% boost. So that is a 25 more percent chance of you making a green. Please just turn it off and you'll be making way more shots. This is probably the most important thing I showed you today. Now, visibility for layups, that doesn't really matter. I just have it on. Now, another important thing, you guys wanna back out and go to shot feedback. Now, listen guys, as y'all can see, whenever my player greens, it shows that I green right away. Now, if y'all want that, go with simple. Believe it or not, most players go with all shots. Now, what all shots does is tell you what your coverage is and what's your distance. Here, I'll move my camera for y'all. Y'all could see on the top, it shows your distance, it shows that you green, and it shows you're wide open. The only bad thing about this is that it won't show instant greens. It's gonna be like 2K24, where it shows that you green like halfway through. Now, listen, I really do not get why people put on all shots. Why do you really want to know about your coverage? If you missed a shot, you're probably covered. Like, you do not really need to know about that. Also, distance, who cares about distance? No one cares about that. And also, timing, when it shows excellent, you do not need to know if you green. It literally shows that you green right there with the animation. Like, you see my green flares? Like, it literally shows I'm green. That's why I put mine on simple. Simple shows if you greened right away. After you shoot the ball, it'll show if you green right away. Now, this came in clutch so many times. When I shoot a deep three or like a three, it'll show if I did a slightly early, a slightly late, a very late, or even a green. And if I shoot a slightly early or slightly late, I'll tell my center right away, ooh, I missed the ball. So they can really try going for a board right away. Now, if you don't have it on simple and you have it on all shots, your center has to wait until the ball hits the rim. Hey, I don't know if I'm just talking like crazy right now, but I have tried all shots. I do not like it. Go with simple. Most players go with all shots trying to make it seem like the best thing ever. Simple is objectively better. All shots, you just get more information. In my opinion, useless information. But hey, I just go with simple. And guys, that'll be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please drop a like and subscribe because I'm dropping bangers over bangers. I'm coming up with the dribble tutorial soon. Also, how to speed boost video soon and way more. Also, streams again are like coming back. I mean, I already did come back. I streamed yesterday. But guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below if any of these jump shots work for you or these tips. But without further ado, I'm gonna catch y'all boys in the next video. Peace out, man.